so we we'll go through the whole gamut of rational, the rational functions or the rational expressions. We defined it. Uh, we talked about the fact it's got a domain issue, can't divide by zero. Um, we simplified it. We added it. We subtracted it. We multiplied it. We divided it. And now we're going to solve equations, which normally leads to applications. And again, the applications are going to come later rather than here. So we, we stop right before the applications. But you need the equations in order to do the applications. So it's the kind of thing is today is, and the last section, is equations. <laughs> now, solving rational equations. It says, list the restrictions on the variable and avoid any values of the variable that make the denominator zero. And remember, that means that the denominator <laughs> can't be zero. Uh, clear the equation of the fraction by multiplying both sides by the LCD uh, of all the rational expressions. Three, solve the resulting equation. Four, reject any proposed solution that's in the list of the restrictions of the variable. And check uh, other proposed solutions in the original equation. I tell you what, I don't like fractions, so I don't check. <laughs> I just hope for the best. Now, however, <laughs> uh, however, if it were, in, in other words, if my life depended upon it, and I needed to check my answer, the bridge would fall down if the answer wasn't right, that kind of thing. Uh, or I was making a presentation and the model in included that kind of thing, that kind of equation and I wouldn't, needed to make sure it was right because after all somebody would question me on it and that would then be a problem if it wasn't. Then I'd check my answer, uh, but other than that, uh, don't do it. So it sets up a series of steps which I've also modeled when you get to see our, our, our problems. And that's this. Here's your equation. And the first thing it says is list the restrictions on the variable. The denominator here is 1. So essentially, if I'm going to list the restrictions on the variable, the denominator can't be 0. We have denominators of 1, so 1 can't be 0. A denominator of x, x can't be 0. A denominator of 2, 2 can't be 0. Well, these two here, 1 is never 0, so that's not a problem. 2 is never 0, so that's not a problem. So my restriction... is x can't be 0. That means if I come out with a value of x equals 0, it gets tossed. Because x can't be 0. And then it says, once you realize that x can't be 0, so that's my restriction, you multiply both sides by the LCD. Now remember how we find an LCD. We have 1, we have x, and we have 2. So if you build it, they will come. So 1 has to be part of it, but 1's always part of everything. x has to be part of it, so x divides it evenly. 2 has to be part of it, so that 2 divides it evenly. So the LCD is going to be 2x. That's the smallest. Then you're going to multiply. You have one side, you have the second side. Then you're going to multiply both sides by 2x. That clears the fraction. Now, it's very much like we've been doing since the beginning, sixth chapter, that the algebra review chapter, when we just worked them with numbers. So we would multiply both sides by a number that cleared all the denominators. And in this instance, you're going to have 2x times x, which is going to be 2x squared. You'll have 2x times 1 over x. Now the x's reduce out, so that just leaves you with a 2, equals 2x times 5 over 2. The 2's reduce out, that leaves you with a 5x. So that's the equation that you need to solve. 
it's a quadratic equation, means degree two. So it's everything on one side, zero on the other. So now, again, we see chapter six playing a role. Factor, set each factor equal to zero, solve for x. I come out with an x value of one half, an x value of two, neither one of them are zero, so then we would assume that those are the, it has two answers, both of them work, yes? When you're setting it up like that, you don't, you know how normally when you factor, you would like make it to multiply, but you don't do that because you're just doing like 2x squared plus 2 is equal to zero, right? Correct. 